So in this video, I wanted to talk to you about um, some iPhone photography. Now I do uh, quite a bit of iPhone photography and videos at work mostly. Uh, it's the camera I have with me all the time. Well, not all the time, but some of the time. Anyways, it's always on my side. So there's a couple of things that I have purchased to make my life a little bit easier when I am doing uh, videos with my iPhone. The first thing I'm gonna show you is this Ulanzi uh, selfie stick. Now, this is an MT44 Ulanzi, and I'll put a link below to the Amazon uh, site where you can purchase this. And what's neat about this thing is it has a, a like tripod type legs on the bottom, and you just kind of unlock them right here and pull them down. And then you got something like this. And then the top part is already made for a phone and you just flip this up like so and you take your phone and you just kind of wedge it on in there, it's spring loaded and it'll hold your phone just like that. Well, another thing good about this is it telescopes. It goes to about five feet tall and I've used it like that before. So uh, that's an MT44 Ulanzi tripod. Now, um, when I am standing away from my phone, one of the problems I have is when I want to start recording, I got to walk over to the phone, hit the record button, and then come back to stand where I was standing to take the video. So I found some um, remote control, Bluetooth remote controls. I'll also put a link to those uh, in the description. And um, these work. They, they hook up right away. They're really quick and they work really well. And I'm gonna demonstrate that now with my iPhone. And we've got our little uh, clickers here. There's a little power button on the side that says on and off, and you'll have to turn that on. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna demonstrate now how this works. So I'm gonna get up and extend my tripod out, okay? So it'll, it'll be up here where I'm at, my height. And Actually, I'm gonna turn it around this way. I'm gonna use the, the, the good cameras. Okay, and we're gonna do a test here to see just how far it'll reach. Okay, so what I've done now is I've hooked up the Rode Wireless Go 2 to the iPhone. And I have my microphone on my string here with my other microphone for the Pocket 3. And we're about 25 feet away, and I'm gonna go ahead and start the iPhone video, and we'll show that now. So here we are talking to the Rode Mic Wireless Go 2 microphones to see what it sounds like in the iPhone. We're about 30 feet away. I'm gonna walk over here. Now I can walk over probably about 50 feet away. I don't know if you can see me in the video yet or not still. So I'm probably about, I don't know, I'd say 40 feet away. So I'm gonna see if it'll turn off with the clicker now. So here I am about 25 or 30 feet away from the iPhone with the Rode Wireless Go 2 microphone attached. And I'm going over here a little bit farther away to see how well the microphone picks up. It's kind of breezy out here today, so hopefully the, the wind muff on the microphone works. Not too sure if you can see me in the video still. Anyways, we're probably about 40 feet away. And what we're gonna do now is hit the clicker and it should have turned the phone off. Now, when, the, when you have an external microphone hooked up to the lightning port, you don't hear the audio indication that it's recording the little beep that the phone makes. Because when you got something plugged into the lightning port, um, you can't hear the volume, okay? That's one of the things you gotta remember to do. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to um, see if I can hear this while I'm here so I don't have to re-record this again. And uh, if I did, you've already heard it in the video from the iPhone.